Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. Today I'm gonna to take you through our homeschool routine, what a typical day looks like. After my son has breakfast, he enjoys playing. And so I know he's a little bit older than most kids, but he still likes to play and I love that about him. I want him to stay as innocent and young at heart for as long as he possibly can. In this clip, you're gonna see me doing our read aloud. We don't always start with our read aloud, but that's kind of what happened that day. So he's playing in the floor with his Jurassic World stuff. He can also um, play with Legos. He plays Minecraft sometimes, but that day he decided he wanted to just keep playing with his dinosaurs while I was reading the Lemonade War to him. And that doesn't bother me. He listens very, very well if his hands are busy. So it doesn't bother me for him to be playing while I'm reading to him. So that's what you'll see him doing right here. And then I'm gonna show you the book that we're reading. That's a part of Brave Rider. Now we're moving on to his independent work. So today he wasn't filling teaching textbooks, which is perfectly fine with me as long as he's doing some kind of math. We have these two fun schooling journals that we just purchased, and then I'm showing him his other fun schooling journal that he can do as well. And he can choose from any of those to work on independently, or he can do gather around cursive. It's totally up to him. He actually chose to do Are You a Math Genius? So I was kind of showing him what he needed to do. It was his first day using it. So I introduced the lesson to him and showed him what he needed to do for math that day. And he really enjoyed that book. He thought it was a lot of fun. And we ordered it from Amazon, if you're wondering. Now he's working on his student planner. I get him to record what he does independently in that planner. So he'll write down what math he chooses for that day and he'll color in the dot to show he's completed it. And then he's gonna write what else he chose to do. So this day, instead of cursive, he chose to do his All About Animals Fun Schooling Journal. And that's what he's writing in his planner right now. So that, that's a good way for us to keep up with it. This is the All About Animals Fun Schooling Journal. This was actually a free download not too long ago. They give those um, free downloads out a lot. So if you follow them on their Facebook page, she's always offering discounts and free downloads. So he's working on a tiger book. He's reading the tiger book and he's writing five facts about tigers. He loves animals and doing animal research. And then one of his favorite things, and it just showed a real quick clip of it, was he loves to fill out a to-do list. So he was working on that too. Now we've moved on to where we come together. Both of the boys have done their independent work and now we've come together. If you're new here, the other little boy is my son's best friend. They've always homeschooled, but he's joining us this year. So this is the time we come together. Their math and other independent work is done and I'm doing our indescribable devotion with them. The thing my son's playing with is just a fidget toy for him to play with while I'm reading. So we're reading from... I can't remember the name of it. How Great Is Our God? It's the second book to Indescribable. We love Indescribable. And so now we're working through this one. So that's what you'll see us doing right here. So I do try to pause and ask them questions and talk to them about what is a part of the devotional for that day. And so you'll see us laughing and sharing some things um, throughout this. So that's what's happening here. What I really love about this devotional is it also shares some scientific facts. So I always make sure to read the how great section and share the scientific part of it. And then what I love the most is that it ends in a prayer. So you'll see us in a minute. I'll be reading the prayer to them. I do let them add to the prayer if they want to, but that's totally up to them. Sometimes we just read the prayer that's there. So now we're moving on to Tuttle Twins. We bought that at the beginning of the school year and it has been a wonderful asset to our home. The boys really, really enjoy it. The picture that I just showed you, that comes in a workbook. There's a PDF workbook for each of the Tuttle Twins books. And so I always print one or two sheets from each book so that they have something to do while I'm reading or something to connect to our reading. They are really enjoying it. My son is very business minded and he has really enjoyed doing the Tuttle Twins book. So if you haven't checked those out, definitely do that. There is a link to the Tuttle Twins in the description box and you can go and check those out. My son really enjoys it. And these boys are nine and 12. If you need some reference of what age to use it for, they both really enjoy it. They're actually designing their own food truck. That was the activity to go along with the food truck fiasco. So they're coming up with a theme and designing what the outside of their food truck is going to look like. So they really enjoy this activity. Sometimes it's a word search, sometimes it's a crossword puzzle. And then I also like to ask them questions that go along with the book. So here I'm just showing you what their food trucks look like. 
Now we're moving on to Top Trump's North American Wildlife. I'm so happy I bought that. I'd seen some people recommend the Top Trump's game, so I was like, I have to check this out. We love playing this game. There's not a lot to it. It's not super complicated, but it's a ton of fun. And because we're doing North America from Gather Around Homeschool, North American Wildlife worked out perfectly. So you just pass out all the cards, um, yeah, the player will decide which category they want to choose, and the person with the highest score, they get to give those cards. You know, you give your cards to that person, and the person who has the most cards at the end wins. And so I'm the first one to be out, but the boys love this game, and they just kept playing even when I was finished. So they enjoy that game a lot. Now we're moving on to learning our states. Um, this was very surprising to me. I actually got these flashcards a couple of years ago from The Good and the Beautiful. It's a free download. It's their geography cards. And I just wanted to start using these with the boys because we're doing North America just to kind of see what they knew. I mean, we went through states and capitals year before last at co-op. So it's like maybe they'll know some of these. They were absolutely cracking me up. Now, it kind of made me a little scared like why do they not know these states but it also was really funny because they were kind of upset with themselves that they didn't know what some of these states were so this was just the west and midwestern states but they were super fun to watch and play around so one thing i know is that we will be practicing this every day not that knowing the location of the states is super important in life but it is fun and it's a challenge for them and they're trying to see who can learn the most states so we had a lot of fun um, doing this. They would get kind of aggravated with each other, but it was just really fun. And now it's become a daily practice for us while we're doing this North American unit study. It's not required part of Gather Around Homeschool, but I just wanted to add it in for the fun of it. And as you can see, they're having a pretty good time trying to guess what it is, but we need a lot of practice. So we may be watching some state videos or some state songs or something. Some of that may be in our future. So if you're new here, we do use Gather Around Homeschool. We love the unit study approach. This is the North America unit study. So I'm just showing you what a typical lesson looks like in the teacher's guide. I read it to them and what my son is writing in is his notebook. Now this is not what the notebooks look like from Gather Around. They're actually worksheets. And I have a flip through of the North America unit study and student notebook on my channel if you wanna check that out. I can even link that below so you can see what it looks like. We just decided to change it up this time and do something a little different and I'll be explaining that in another video. But my son decided that he wanted to research one of the mountains that we just talked about so that's why he has his iPad out and he's researching that. He's gonna draw that in his notebook. He also drew the American flag and then realized that he had totally messed up the colors, but that's okay. We don't worry about things like that. He knows what it looks like. This is actually what this student notebook looks like. I still print one for myself so I can see what I need to cover with them daily. So I was reading to them about the dog sleds and the races, and then he wanted to watch a video of it. So he found him a video on YouTube of the Iditarod and that is what they're watching. So having an iPad handy um, is really great for us because we are able to quickly look things up on the spur of the moment um, if we need to. And so that's what he wanted to look up. Now we've moved on to drawing caribou. Caribou was the animal focus for that day and Art Hub for Kids is a wonderful place to get you some drawing lessons. The boys love doing this. That's what he's doing right here. He wanted to watercolor paint them, so I let him do that. And then here I am, um, I'm gonna help them research the animals. So I'm kind of showing them what they could do on their notebook page because sometimes they just need a little bit of help of what to put on a notebooking page. So having a small dry erase board handy so I can draw them something and show them what they could do just to give them an idea, that's what I'm doing here. So they are using Google Classroom where I've stored some things about caribou they're clicking on the animal tracks link that I left in there, and they are writing what they want to on their notebooking page. So it's meaningful to them. It's things that stuck out to them about caribou that they want to put in their notebook. So that's what I'm showing them how to do right here, showing them how to draw it on their page, kind of showing them spacing and layout, because sometimes that's confusing if you've never notebooked before. So my son has found the animal tracks link and they're talking about what a caribou's tracks look like. They also looked up things like where they live, what they eat, and those things are suggested in the notebooks that you get with Gather Round. So that's what they're working on.
right here. Ignore the table in the background with the piles of Legos we need to put together. So this is where he is just watercoloring the animal tracks and filling in the other sections of his notebooking page. And our school day ended with a lightsaber fight in the rain. These boys had a great day and we ended before lunch that day, so that was nice. Not every day is the same here, so make sure you come back for more Day in the Lives and other homeschool content. Thanks so much for watching.